guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your bring you to Arsenal FC versus Manchester United in the Premier League at the Emirates Stadium. Kickoff time in the UK, 4:30 p.m. live on Sky Source. And yes, I've had a haircut, and I shaved my beard off because I am going to Bournemouth tomorrow for the weekend. You know, to stay with family. In Bournemouth, so that's why I've had a fresh and that refreshed myself with a haircut and shaved the beard off. But anyway, the big hammer blow for Manchester United it was announced this morning that Raphael Moran is out injured for a few weeks, which that's a hammer blow, it really is. But I had a feeling he was injured because he was substituted at half time against Nottingham. Forest, so I knew that was not a good sign, unfortunately. So he's now out for a few games. This is the lineup I'll go in. In goal, Andre Onana, right back, Aaron Wambasaka, centre backs, Lissandro Martinez, Fixer Lindelof. Now it's got to be Martinez and Lindelof because that partnership works well. Do not put in slabbed Harry Maguire. With Lindelof because it makes Lindelof look so bad if you play Slab Eds Maguire. But when Lindelof plays with Martinez or Horan, completely different player. Maguire is a bad example on Lindelof. When Maguire isn't on the team, Lindelof is absolutely superb. So Martinez and Lindelof, then left back. I guess they'd be Diego Delo because Luke Shaw's injured. Central defensive field, Casemiro. Then in the midfield, Christian Eriksen, Bruno Fernandes. I would bring back in Ganacho. Anthony is no doubt he'll start. Marcus Rashford and possibly Hoyland, but. I reckon it'd be Marshall who starts the game. So yes, that's the lineup I go with now. I cannot wait for this one. Manchester United versus Arsenal. An old school tie. Sounds like my washing machine is beginning to take off, so I'm going to go into my bedroom. Here we go. I've now moved into my bedroom because it's less noisy in the sitting room. So right. Where was I? I was talking about I'm absolutely buzzing for this one. I love this. Classic rivalry. Arsenal versus Manchester United. You should not need any motivation for this game. You cannot be up for going up against Arsenal. You should stay at home. It's as simple as that. I mean, our track record though at the Emirates is poor. Well, Arsenal aren't exactly playing great themselves, are they? Let's face it. Why have seen them in the last few games? They're nowhere near in the same Arsenal's last season. I believe Mikel Arteta is doing too much experimenting with the Arsenal team. It's like, I don't understand why he's not playing the same sort of football as he did last season. It's just, to me, it's a mad one. It really is. Because he played the same sort of football as Arsenal did last season. And Arsenal would be absolutely superb, in my opinion. As, yep... You can see here in the washing machine a little bit, but it's not too bad in here. But, yeah, it's on the fast spin. That's why it's kind of making my bed shake. But I am absolutely buzzing. I cannot wait for this game. I mean, it could go either way because uh, United are playing poor. Arsenal are playing poor. And now we don't have Ferran. That is going to make our defence weaker. It really is. Hoyland, now be interesting to see if he finally makes his debut. I really hope he does, because what a statement that would be. He comes on as a substitute and scores against Arsenal with all opponents. But obviously, Arsenal sounds some quality players. You know, they got Declan Rice, who they signed for about 105 million. They got Saka, Thomas Partey. Now, Arteta is playing. Thomas Partey out of position, which I do not understand at all. I mean, he's playing him as a right-back. I mean, what on earth is that all about? 
So he's like Ben White. He's playing Ben White as like a centre back. It's like he's not a centre back to Ben White. He's more of a right back because that's his more familiar position. It's like I don't understand the tactics at Arsenal this season. And sometimes in my team, Manchester United, I don't understand Ten Hag's tactics at times. I really don't. But I am fully behind at Ten Hag. I am no way Eric Ten Hag out. As you know, the reason why I love this side is because it's my team versus my dad's team. My dad is a huge Arsenal fan. So, yeah, I mean, we're very respectful with each other when it comes to, like, to out Manchester United and Arsenal. But, obviously, we're not... We don't have the same banter on match days, obviously, because we both want what's best for our teams, obviously. But, yeah, Saka for Arsenal, he, I love Saka, you know. He's a star boy. Declan Rice, I believe he's going to be a great addition to Arsenal. Still very early in the season, so I believe he will settle into the Arsenal team. As the washing machine has now stopped, that's a bit more quieter, because it's like my... Bed and shake, honestly, mad, but yeah, I'm buzzing. Absolutely, as I said, if you're not motivated for this one, maybe you should stay at home because you know it's Arsenal, our classic rivalry from the early 2000s when Manchester United and Arsenal used to dominate the Premier League each season. You know, Fanger versus. Ferguson, Roy Keane versus Vieira in the tunnel. Unbelievable memories of this one. I absolutely love it. It's such an epic tie. Rob Holden, obviously, he is absolutely useless for Arsenal. But I heard there's a possibility that he could be leaving. So that'd be a good player to get out the door for Arsenal. Because, yeah, Rob Holden's absolutely useless, honestly. Now, Arsenal, I quite like Arsenal because, like, my dad supports them. So, I like to see Arsenal do well, you know. If my team can't be in a title fight, you know, I hope Arsenal are because, you know, at my dad's sake. But, obviously, I want my team, Manchester United, to be. But we won't be in a title fight because i think seen this. Our football is not great. We need to play much less a couple who want to be in a title fight, you know. We're crap against Wolves, so we got away with it. Well beaten by Tottenham. And then Forrest, 2-0 down in about three minutes. But we got out of jail by winning it by a penalty. But winning it by a penalty is nothing to get excited about. You want to see much more from the team. And obviously I want to see a lot more. But this one could go either way. My score prediction is... I mean, I just the way Manchester United are at the moment and how poor our record is at the Emirates, I'm going for a 2 1 victory to Arsenal. I think, unfortunately, they will just be too strong for us. Especially, as I said now, Rafael Ferran is out in George, which is a hammer blow. It really is. Barcy Eriksson, he played very well against Nottingham Forest. Anthony, like I said, he's a greedy bastard. Not really a fan of him. Obviously, Mount's injured, but it's put Ericsson back in the starting lineup. So that's one positive because playing Bruno and Mount together was making poor Casemiro very isolated, honestly. And look how much better Casemiro was against Forrest with Ericsson and Bruno in the midfield. Much better, honestly. So. Yep, yeah, comment your thoughts down below. I will always reply. And join me on Sunday for a match reaction to Man Arsenal versus Manchester United in the Premier League. Sunday morning on the usual pre match YouTube shorts. As I am going away for a few days to Bournemouth, the Manchester United daily videos will be taking a break for a few days. We will pick it up back again next week where I upload a Manchester United video every day. It's just, obviously, I need to record I have one preview. I need to record this preview. It's just, it's going to be so tight getting it all in. So, yeah, I'm going to give the daily Manchester United videos a break for a few days. But 
We'll pick it back up again on Monday daily. Thanks very much for all the support recently. Bye-bye.